welcome to uh, this campaign office. I uh, am so pleased to, to be joined here today uh, by my leader, uh, Justin Trudeau, uh, here at this uh, community uh, media roundtable. And I'm so pleased to see so many of you here uh, in attendance. So uh, let me, uh, without further ado, let me just turn things over uh, to uh, my leader, Justin Trudeau. Well, thank you very much, uh, Harold. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to see so many of you out here today. Uh, I, uh, I'm glad uh, for a number of reasons. First of all, it's always great to be able to uh, answer questions and uh, talk about some of the uh, uh, good work and important issues that Liberals are putting forward. But it's also really good to see that uh, you aren't all sick and tired of elections yet. Uh, we, have, uh, we just had a very big election uh, here in the province of Ontario. Uh, and the uh, message that we need to put out is how important it is uh, for people to be reminded that there is a federal by-election going on here in Scarborough Region Course, uh, and that indeed uh, this weekend is the advance polls on uh, Friday, Saturday, and Monday. Uh, people can vote. Now that's particularly important in this uh, context, uh, given the fact that the Prime Minister decided to uh, call Election Day in the middle of a long weekend. Uh, Canada Day weekend, Canada Day is on a Tuesday, so Monday, July, uh, June 30th is going to be the voting day. A lot of people will be with their families, they may not think about uh, voting, so it's really important that if you can, uh, you highlight the fact that people can vote every day at the register's office, uh, but also, uh, specifically in the advance polls this weekend, would be uh, uh, extremely important. But on top of that, I'm happy to showcase Arnold because he is part of uh, the rebuilding of the Liberal Party that we're working on so hard right now. The focus that we have is uh, building a new team, uh, building a strong plan uh, to be able to provide a better government for this country in 2015. And we know there's an awful lot of hard work to do, but uh, as the sign says, hope and hard work is the way the Liberal Party functions. Uh, we stay positive, we stay confident, we work hard for the future, uh, by rolling up our sleeves. That's, uh, that's what we'll do, and that's why I'm so glad to see so many of you here today. Thank you for coming, and I'm happy to turn over the questions. Any questions? Or we can just go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. All right, my name is Jack Jay, uh, I'm from Chinese News. Uh, the first question is, how you differentiate, right now we all understand democracy is important to balance the power. So we find during the last effect, uh, election or elections, and we find that the provincial liberal and uh, federal liberals are so close. And if you, I look at the the, the uh, four soldiers, basically those are four soldiers working for the uh, provincial liberal are now working for the federal liberal. Do you think as a voters should we keep in mind? balance the power between different parties, not mentioning our provincial liberals have such scandals and uh, even caught to personally my surprise, he won the majority. So when you hold half accountable in terms of corruption, so how you can appreciate the provincial liberal bring us so much uh, scandals and uh, we as uh, taxpayer make sure our money is go to in the right direction thank you well, first of all you you, you you remind me a little bit of some of the uh, uh, the folks who uh, can't believe that uh, Kathleen Wynne won uh, won a majority government she got the confidence of uh, Ontarians to form another solid government for four years uh, which means that a uh, yes each as she admitted mistakes were made by the previous administration in the past but she also put forward a strong and responsible plan uh, to meet the challenges that, that Canadians and Ontarians specifically feel that they were facing. So for me, it's extremely important, and I'm, I'm proud of the fact uh, that uh, a liberal is a liberal is a liberal. Uh, whether you're talking about the provincial liberals or federal liberals, uh, we are very concerned about how our kids are going to be able to get well educated and get good jobs once they graduate. How we're going to care for our elders and seniors who are worried about their pensions. How we're going to make sure that middle class families uh, have an opportunity to create opportunity for the have an opportunity to create success for themselves. 
uh, and for the future. I mean, these are the things that liberals are preoccupied with, making sure that we balance economic growth and responsibility with a strong social conscience. Uh, so I'm proud uh, that my friend uh, Kathleen Wynn uh, became a premier on Thursday night. I look forward to working with her because what Canadians need more than uh, concerns of a balance of power uh, is a federal government and a provincial government that work together to serve Canadians. Now too often we have a federal government that chooses to pick fights with its provincial counterparts, picks fights with mayors and municipalities. What Ontarians want, what Canadians want, what people here in Scarborough Agent Court want, is politicians who will stand up and work together. And you mentioned checks and balances and the balance of power. The most important balance of power we have at the federal level uh, is the Supreme Court. Uh, are the institutions and the officers of Parliament that make sure uh, that the behavior that we're engaging in, the legislation we pass, is in the best interest of Canadians. And no one in the history of this country has done more to undermine the Supreme Court of Canada, including making personal attacks on the, on the uh, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, than Mr. Harper has done more to undermine the institutions like Statistics Canada that is there to uh, make sure that government is actually serving in our small communities and that Canadians' needs are being met. This, go this government has attacked scientists and researchers who are calling attention to the challenges that we're facing around climate change, around poverty, around uh, uh, infant and uh, maternal mortality. This government right now in Ottawa has done a terrible job of living up to its responsibilities to help Canadians build a better life for themselves and for their children. And I'm proud to sit here next to Arnold Chan, a liberal who will uh, be a strong voice for Scarborough Asian Court and who will help me uh, build a better future for everyone after the 2015 election. Thank you. Question for Anor. Uh, do you want um, can you comment anything uh, over Sandra Young's loss to after the uh, the Bay election? But after the election, Sandra Young Rocco. Well, in, in terms of, of, of that, you know, there was disappointing, I guess, reversal to the tabulation that, that took place uh, uh, two days ago. Uh, obviously, uh, she's a dear friend of mine, and I am uh, devastated that that, that, that has uh, has occurred. But on, on you know. There will be a process. I understand that Sandra is contemplating a judicial application uh, to have that uh, that vote reviewed, and then it will go through the uh, the appropriate process. Yeah. Uh, in the past uh, provisional election, uh, Liberal had a two-year victory. Particularly for Chinese community, there are four candidates, but three of them won. So, how do you expect uh, this from the Chinese community for the federal level? And how can you support it? Well, first of all, I'm very, very proud to be sitting here beside uh, Arnold, although I, and, and I feel bad to almost admit it because it uh, reflects poorly on the Liberal Party of the past. Uh, but Arnold is the first Chinese-Canadian uh, Liberal candidate from the GTA. Uh, as, as we know, we've had uh, you know, Liberal uh, members and even cabinet ministers uh, from the Chinese community across this country. Uh, but uh, in the GTA, Arnold is the first time uh, we have a strong, uh, a, a liberal candidate uh, uh, and therefore a, a liberal MP come uh, June 30th. Uh, but I'm also very, very excited that uh, that is shown here in this community in Scarborough Asian Court with Arnold. But we're also seeing it in the open nominations across the GTA uh, where we have a, a, a level of interest and engagement by Chinese Canadians who are getting more involved in the democracy, more involved in the Liberal Party's uh, organization. Uh, and I know that we're going to have a strong, diverse team representing the GTA, including uh, at least one, but most likely more, uh, Chinese Canadian MPs from the GTA. And I, I really want to thank the Chinese community for uh, stepping up um, the way so many other communities have done over past elections to make sure that we have a, a great, diverse representation uh, in the Liberal Party that reflects uh, the, the extraordinary diversity that is the strength of our country. Thank you.